Thank you very much for joining us again. It is Serious Matters on Onif TV. Well, I have this very, very interesting one. Uh, I'd like to take a clue from um, uh, Rufayo Singh on this particular one, where um, the president, outgoing president of Nigeria, President Muhammadu Buhari, had said that the action of former president, good luck, Ebele Jonathan, calling him or uh, 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 conceding defeat during the 2015 election, uh, general election, is unprecedented, is on Nigeria. Well, I'm wondering also why this is coming up at this time. I'm wondering why it is now that it is on Nigeria. I'm wondering, I'm wondering why it is now that it is unprecedented. I, I'm wondering why it is now an issue to discuss. Because you actually had a talk with him. He said he had a talk with you. Why didn't you tell him then? Why didn't you say that, Your Excellency, this is un-Nigerian? Why didn't you say, Your Excellency, this is not, this is unprecedented? Why didn't you say, Your Excellency, why just let's wait till the elections are over before considering, you know? Well, we don't know why all this came up at this time, but then uh, I'd like us to listen to Rufai on this particular because he mentioned quite a number of things, and I don't know. Uh, I hope YouTube will allow me to play this this clip, you know, to uh, to to see uh, to hear these things again and again. I know some of us must have heard this, but then let's see and hear for ourselves. This guy is so raw. This guy is so raw that he fears nobody. I don't. I don't know where the guy. I mean, the 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 his backup is is something else. His backup is something else. But then, so I just want us to listen. I, I'll come back again, but probably in the in the middle and probably at the end, so that um, we we contribute. But please do feel free to drop your contributions. Make them simple and simple. Thank you very much for watching. Let's go. President Muhammadu Buhari yesterday reviewed the 2015 general elections that brought him into office and said the singular act of his predecessor, Dr. Gulag Jonathan, considering defeat even before the formal announcement of the election result was unprecedented mm -hmm. and definitely not Nigerian. You see, it's so easy for President Muhammadu Buhari to say what he said about Gulag Jonathan. But can he do the same? One man said, the blood of Nigeria is not worth my ambition. Another man said, blood of baboon will flow. We have not forgotten. Dr. Abati, President Buhari was the same man that threatened to take you to court for libel because you spoke the truth in your newspaper article by saying that most of his slogan leading up to the elections were the things that incited mammoth violence after the 2011 election. You did not lie, Dr. Abati. You did not lie in that article. You spoke the truth, but President Muhammad Buhari thought otherwise and he threatened you with a libel case then. We all remember how that letter was drafted by your own dear Yinka Odumaki of blessed memory. We all remember. We remember. You see, in this country, there are so many things we just choose to forget. It's not because we've forgotten, but we just because we want things to lie. So President Muhammad Buhari is saying that about good luck, Jonathan. But when he was faced with that situation of election loss, we know what he did. Mm. We know the things he said. And we will not forget. Yes. Because now we are preaching unity. Mm. You see, the bone of contention as regards this election, a lot of people are getting it twisted. It's just that, how can I explain it? Let me explain it in a very simple term. It's just that what we ordered from INEC is not what we got. Abiyo. Mm -hmm. That's just it. Yeah. INEC said they were going to transmit results. We didn't see transmission of results. Simple. You know when you buy things on uh, social media, what you ordered is different from what you got. <laughs> what Nigerians ordered from INEC is not what they got. <laughs> and people have a right. Till today, maybe INEC will say it in the court. So they've not been able to tell us what constitutes the technical glitch that didn't make them transmit results. But they were the ones that said they were going to transmit results. We didn't even ask them. So you don't expect people not to speak up in the case of injustice. Yeah. And when President Muhammad Buhari said it is on Nigeria what Good Luck Jonathan did, no, okay. President Muhammad Buhari should not insult Nigerians. Okay. It is Nigerian <laughs> what he did. <laughs> Nigerians concede. Nigerians are peaceful people. Because when you said it is on Nigeria, what you mean is that Nigerians don't concede. Mm. Good Luck Jonathan saw that okay, he had lost and he wanted to move on and he conceded. So if you cannot do something and somebody else do it and he says it's on Nigeria, no, 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 speak for yourself. Don't speak for all of us. I tell you, yes, sir. It is also Nigerian to be able to challenge election results, like people are doing in court. Yes, yes. And what these people have constantly said is, it is challenging the process. 
So for me, I think what is on Nigerian is the fact that the court will rule today as regards should they even televise the proceedings live of the electoral. Why should we even have to take a matter to court? Why should INEC be saying they should not even transmit it in the first place? In the first place. In when Nigerians should be able to see what truly happened. Mm. So I think those are the things that are on Nigerian. I think the thing that are on Nigerian about us is what has happened in the last eight years, that there were so many promises made, but nothing was achieved. As of today, dollar is 760. Mm. When we came in, when they came in, in 2015, <laughs> dollar was less than 200. I think that is on Nigeria. That is on Nigeria. I think the fact that the Siemens deal that was promised that by now should be giving us some thousands of megawatts have not been done, although they made a statement recently, they said, oh, the materials have been imported into the country, it's just to them to deploy. But the question is, have they met the timeline? I think that's what is on Nigeria. In eight years. I think debt is on Nigeria. Ah. The fact that we have humongous debt, 7 billion was the debt when it came in, now it's over 41 billion. 41. I think those are the things that are on Nigeria. Hey. I think the high unemployment rate it is what is on Nigeria. Because Nigeria is not known to have this level of abysmal performance in government. Nigeria is known for a country of excellence. Mm. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> you know, we can go on and on and on and on and on and on. Well, it's so sad. It's so sad. I, I, I keep asking, how did, you, how did we get to this place? How did we get here? Because there's a saying by, in the Yoruba palace that when you, if you lose your way, if you, don't, if you don't know the way forward, at least you should be able to trace your way back. Because as it is now, even the way back, self, it don't scatter for person brain. We don't even know where we they go now or where we they come from. Well, it is serious matters and it is one to be discussed. Please feel free to drop your comment. Make them simple and simple. Thank you very much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye.